quarantine. It was founded in 2015 by me and uh, Dr. Hagen, and we provide advanced genomics to protect your health. In short, quarantine is built around a new paradigm, um, and that paradigm is the combination of deep biotechnology, specifically genomics and sequencing, with cloud and AI technologies to achieve this ultimate goal of better medical intelligence. And our mission that drives us here at Quantine is uh, that we um, plan to extend the healthy human lifespan by a decade within this decade, uh, or 10 and 10, as we say. Uh, and the driver behind that, in our opinion, will be preventative and precision medicine that allows us to detect multiple diseases, especially chronic diseases at early stages um, and uh, have a significant impact on lifespan and uh, life expectancy. What we developed in the last five years and launched this year um, is what we call Serenity Medical, which is a new system where we combine multiple cutting edge genomics technologies where we have proprietary technology built up um, that cross liquid biopsy, um, germline genetics, smart medical profiles, um, and clinical excellence. These are our four technology layers, and I will very quickly give you a profile for each one. Um, these are very complex technologies, so I'm not going to go into too many details. Let's start with our uh, uh, Serenity genome um, product that is um, the next step in germline genetic testing. And the bottom line here is we have a vision that we now made reality to transition genetic testing from non-medical grade testing like 23andMe or very selective testing like color and other technologies into a paradigm where every single patient gets always tested across all genes and all variants that are coding with clinical grade precision. So our technology today can already deliver the first whole genome intelligence report that is clinical grade across all 20,000 genes every time for every patient for under $1,000. This technology has huge um, implications on, on preventative care and general access to deep genomic testing, but it also transforms the way you actually order panels in clinical contexts. The next technology stack that is our flagship and took us the longest to develop over the last five years or six years now is a liquid biopsy uh, technology where Quantine leads the world in single molecule precision um, detection of somatic variants in the blood. And the product we are building here is the first blood test that is deployed by physicians to detect or guide the detection of uh, the, the, the early detection of eight cancers with a single blood draw. And this product is also being launched this year. Finally, the Smart Profiles um, is a unifying technology that connects the dots, literally, um, that connects these millions, or in liquid biopsy case, billions of data points that come out of a blood sample and make sense of this information. This is a cloud and AI technology um, that considers our testing, but also the broader medical records of the patient. Um, to make that technology work, of course, we need also a new type of preventative care physician um, that is trained by Quantine Serenity uh, and built a clinical excellence task force that allows us to capture these results and deliver to patients in responsible ways and coordinate any care that is required. Um, our roadmap is aggressive, but we are off to an excellent start. We are cash flow positive as we speak. We launched the product, uh, Serenity Medical, uh, in a first pilot uh, and have pretty ambitious, but I think at this point, realistic goals to hit 10,000 members this year, 30 million revenue, 25% uh, gross margin, um, capture 0.025% of our TAM, and by 2025, reach 200,000 members, 500 million in revenue, and increase gross margin to 40%. Key figures for quarantine, we, we believe our self-payer model alone has roughly a TAM of 40 million members or $100 billion a year. Um, that is worldwide and combines premium employers with self-payers and concierge uh, medicine. I think that number is very conservative and there are other adjacent markets, but that's our key number here. 
We raised $18 million so far, uh, founded 2015 at UC Berkeley, have 40 employees and operate in Santa Monica, California with our headquarter. We have a deep R&D unit in Berlin, Germany, and uh, very soon do some exciting things also in Charleston, South Carolina with one of our strategic partners and investors. We, of course, have a lot of partners for our uh, clinical trials. We have one of the largest selfie DNA trials in the world going on with 10,000 patients across multiple locations. Um, we have a bunch of strategic partners in genetics and um, the laboratory space, some of them very strategic, very involved. Some of them, um, we just have good contracts to make sure we get our materials. Um, and we are very excited about 2021 as the first real commercialization year. Uh, and yeah, I want to thank you for listening and I'm excited to get your questions. Thank you, Joe. Awesome job. Um, take some questions from the chat. Marina Cortez, can you introduce where you're from and, and uh, ask your question? Yes, happy to do so. My name is Marina Cortez. I'm a venture partner with Hyde Ventures. Uh, we're a venture capital firm uh, located in Silicon Valley and invest in seed stage applied AI. So I just noticed uh, that uh, CoinGen is already past seed, the are at Series A and beyond. Um, sorry about that, but I found your take quite interesting and I wanted to know if um, you do a whole genome sequencing on the biopsy and the signal cells that you were able to isolate. I can repeat the question. I didn't, I didn't fully get the question. Yes, uh, I wanted to know if you do whole genome sequencing of the samples that you get from the patient. We do whole exome sequencing. Um, so we decided that, you know, it's, uh, you can deliver a, a more affordable product by a large uh, margin um, without making too many compromises. Most of the variants that are known to do something are on the coding regions of the genome. So we limit ourselves to, to investigate all genes on the human genome and not the intergenic regions. So whole exome is it. Thank you very much. Esther Dyson, for, for any people who don't know who you are, please introduce yourself and ask your question. Um, I'm one of the early investors in Startup Health and formerly on the board of 23andMe. I'm curious, really two questions. One, where you, where you get your actual scientific correlation data, your, you know, are you just using published research? Or are you using your own? And second, as a business, how do you compare yourselves both to, uh, I guess it was Health Longevity, Craig Venter's company, and then Arival up in Seattle, you're kind of between the two of them. Yeah, these are great questions. And Esther, of course, thanks a lot for everything you have done to, uh, for our space. It's a tremendous, I think, thing uh, for 23 me and of course, Startup Health. Um, well, the way we work, everything we do is, is data and AI driven with our proprietary data. So while we use a bunch of uh, cloud systems to pull in existing research on all variants, we also have our own system where we continuously expand and collect and see correlations in clinical trials. Um, so the answer is the vast majority of variant calling and curation that we do is based on um, cloud systems, including Golden Helix and some other partners we have, and our own way of pulling PubMed, uh, Linva, you know, Farm, GKB, and some others in. Um, but we also continue to expand what we see by looking at our own patient cohorts and by doing our own clinical trials. Something exciting coming up soon I can talk about, but there are both on pharma and medical devices, people who work with us. Um, Do you publish that so that other people can take advantage of it? We want to, yes. I mean, it's, a, it's always a debate because there's pharma involved in medical devices. So we have to, we always try to make it, yeah, as public as possible. Thanks. Um, and you know, it's tricky, but we really, that's part of our ethos that we try to do that. Um, when it comes to comparison, I mean, our competitive spaces, you know, we touch a lot of segments and what you mentioned are more executive checkup um, companies like Health Nucleus, we are actually friendly with them. You know, everyone is kind of on the primary care side, like One Medical, Forward, Parsley, all these guys, they are frenemies, right? So we can do great things with them. And we are also to some extent competitive because we also include medical services in what we do um, on the executive checkup side from QBio to Health Nucleus to many others, Mayo Clinic and so on. 
Um, they are perfect partners to plug our system in, but also are competitive because we, we also offer the standalone service. We like the combination of advanced imaging. You know, they have full body MRI, so the entire radiology part of things that we don't do right now. Um, so we are, yeah, we are friendly and having conversations with them, but over time it might become a little more competitive. And then of course we have, yeah, companies like 23andMe that we of course admire. I think they did a tremendous job, but it's not clinical great, it's not whole exome. Um, that compete partially. I think uh, more competitive is Invite and Embry, um, companies like that. And then we have our liquid biopsy peers, uh, Garden Health, Natera, and so on, Thrive, Exact Sciences. Um, so that, there's a lot of kind of adjacent markets to us, but I, I, I feel we have a very unique model and business model, how we actually bring the entire stack of technology here to uh, consumers and employers and clinics. Mm -hmm.